I can't, I can't. True face is the musical. <laughs> Sorry for the horrible intro. I Somebody suggested that we do a, a music video or a funny music video. We were just going over topics for what this video should be because the, the, the main topic about this is a fairly short topic and we were like, hmm, what else can we do? Um, but we have since discussed that that is, that is a horrible idea and we will not be doing that. So stay tuned. This might be a short video, but it's an important one. So stick around. So let's go. So basically, we, I just wanted to take a short minute to explain the concept. So our main platform is Instagram. And um, I guess this is kind of for, for most social media platforms in general, but two different concepts, kind of photo description and alt text and kind of which is better and why and what their different purposes are. Um, and just kind of explaining why we do what we do. So alt text is a secret feature that if you are, are cited, you probably don't know about. And it is in the advanced settings when you're posting an Instagram photo or editing an Instagram photo, um, where you can type in what is in the photo for so that when somebody with a screen reader comes over top of that photo, they can have a description or what you typed in of what's in that photo. So if I posted a photo that said true faces in the alt text, I could put text that reads quotation marks true faces in the alt text and when a screen reader came over that photo it would say exactly what i put into that box um and this is super helpful for people with screen readers because it usually when you come to a photo it just says undistinguishable photo and like it it doesn't identify what's in the photo in any way and that's honestly what made instagram super inaccessible for a lot of people with sight loss originally um, so alt text is super helpful for screen readers. Um, but another option and one that we use is photo description and a photo description is different from an alt text because it's, it's similar in that it identifies what it is in the photo, obviously hence the name photo description, but it does it in the caption. So anybody can read it. And the reason that we do this is because it, kind of in our opinion, but for the most part, I think it's more accessible. So like I said, alt text is great for people with screen readers, but not necessarily those with low vision. So myself, I'm somebody who I may come across photos and because of my low vision or my colorblindness, I can't always tell what's in a photo, but I can also see enough that I don't use a screen reader. So I'm kind of in the in, bet in between, sorry. And when I get to a photo and I'm like, oh, I can't see this. If I scroll down to the caption and I can read a photo description, now I know what's in the photo. And I know, oh, <laughs> look, there's Hannah standing in some trees and in a forest. And yeah. oh, I couldn't see her before, but oh, okay, now I, now I understand what's in it. So um, while... Alt text is great for people with screen readers or no vision or anything like that. All um, photo description in a caption can be read by a screen reader. So it can be read by a screen reader or visually by somebody with low vision or even somebody who's sighted who's maybe just like my eyes are not focusing yeah. and I can't see what's in this. So photo description is actually just more inclusive. Like I know Instagram's kind of just advertising like yes use alt text and all this but Photo descriptions allow the low vision community as opposed to the blind community. They're the same thing, but like yeah. <laughs> the low vision individuals yeah. to be included in having that image description, that mm -hmm. um, further understanding of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can definitely say that I have like just like used like photo description before. I'm like, like it's just, it can be like helpful like, even like with a sighted person like mm -hmm. you just you scroll down and like it's it's also like you could interpret a photo one way but then you read like the photo description you're like okay like this photo is definitely of this i guess yeah and sometimes people put in photo descriptions like the names of people who are in there yeah so if you're trying to like identify like faces like i'm yeah. horrible at faces so if there's maybe like three people or something in the photo i'm like i don't know who this is so maybe they'll be like oh emily on the left and mm -hmm. hannah in the center and mom on the right or whatever like 
just being able to kind of identify like the people and just other yeah. things in it um photo descriptions are super easy to write and they only take like seconds of your life mm -hmm. i usually separate them with like a bullet point or something and just write some people put like pd or id for image description or they'll type out photo description yeah i usually when we do true faces post type out photo description colon and then what's in the photo um, whether it be a person or you could be like it's a yeah. selfie of Emily or it's a selfie of Hannah or it's mm -hmm. Emily and Hannah standing in a forest or it doesn't have to be super elaborate like including like oh they're wearing a purple shirt or anything like that like yeah to be honest I don't care about what color shirt Hannah's wearing <laughs> but to just identify either those people or those yeah. um kind of defining aspects of the photo can be so incredibly helpful um to include those in posts yeah. um and I think it's definitely something that we should make more, we should normalize and just like make it more common. Even if you know the nobody that is blind follows you on Instagram, it's still just getting in the habit of doing photo description. Like I know I don't do it on my personal Instagram, but I know that I should and I should start doing that. Mm -hmm. and, and like, yeah, even just like people whose accounts are public, like anybody can see that account. Mm -hmm. Somebody with a visual impairment may be coming. And if you are somebody who does care about like, followers or whatever and you are maybe a larger account or something like that think about just those yeah. random people who sporadically come off their page if they see that you have photo description it may, might be more apt to follow or kind of yeah. come along your journey yeah i feel like it's the same kind of thing with like closed captioning in like videos and stuff <laughs> somebody i was talking with somebody who is deaf the other day and they're like um they're like, oh, it's so hard to get closed captionings on videos mm -hmm. and stuff. And I was like, try getting audio description. That's a whole other topic. Yeah. But they're like, oh, I hate when videos don't have closed captioning. I was like, try getting audio description for YouTube videos. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we might be in a little off topic here, but something that I found the other day is closed captioning uh, on Google Meet. I, I was using Google Meet for the first time and I found there's closed captioning on it. And I thought that that was very helpful because even if it's not 100% like accurate, I'm like even just like getting some better idea of what somebody's saying when you can't hear them. And I haven't seen anything that's like that on Zoom or my school uses like WebEx meetings. And I think that that should like also be available out there, like closed captioning in meetings and stuff. Zoom has closed captionings, but you have to designate somebody to type out the captions. Yeah, that doesn't Which sound. is inconvenient. Yeah. But um, anyways, so yeah, um... Like I said, Instagram's advertising this alt text and putting in alt text, but it's, I feel like it's actually easier for people to just continue their caption and put in a photo description in their caption, then going to find mm -hmm. like the advanced settings and the alt text and then going to the photo. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's, it is just, it's easier. It's more convenient. Everybody can see it. It's a wider, more inclusive way, yeah. um, to accommodate the blind and low vision community. And, and it's helpful. It's helpful mm -hmm. for a lot of us. So yeah, and I think that, like, a really good message to put out there is that, like, anybody can do photo description and closed captioning and stuff, and, you know, like, complete accessibility is a process, but we can all take little steps to make everything more inclusive and make everything more accessible using photo description and those kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So that is mostly it. So that's the difference between photo description, alt text, add photo descriptions to your Instagram and tag us to be like, if you start using them, let us know uh, and we'll, how it goes and we'll check it out. Um, side note, I did gels nails for the first time this week. They're dope. Um, that's just a side note. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time today to educate yourself about these topics and the blind low vision community. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Bye.